噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔，滴哩哩哩哩哩。Battleship evolved into aircraft carrier. Uh, hi guys, Vex here, and uh, welcome back to World of Warships. I finally got a an aircraft carrier, and how is the okay? So I can hit M to see that, and then how. I'm trying to figure out the spectator controls for the aircraft carrier. Give me one quick sec. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Just we'll look at that, and then we can look at that. Can I rotate the camera around? Or am I stuck like this? Oh, obviously I'm not doing that. Okay, man, this is confusing. All right, so there we go. These are just be my views, I guess. All right, so I got an aircraft carrier, and I had a been taking it through some matches, and I've been sucking pretty bad, uh, and I finally started getting the hang of it, Now I, th I think I've pretty much got the hang of it here. So let's take a look. I'm going to hit, basically you got this view, which is more zoomed in, and you can use the mouse wheel up and down. This is the carrier's default view, and you can zoom out like that until about right here, and then you hit M to get that strategic view all the way out. Uh, so let me walk you quickly through the uh, carrier's UI here. Basically at the bottom middle of the screen, uh, I can hit 1, and that lets me... Uh, whoops, my bad. Group 2 is taking fire already. And I'm, st I'm still explaining the stupid carrier view. Can I hit shift to go into that? No. Shift, please. There. Oop. I thought it was going to go there for a second. But, uh, so I can hit one to control the carrier, and then I've got two aircraft groups. Oh, it's going automatically. It's following what I was looking at during the match. Oh, that's why it's all weird. Oh, okay. So if I was in this view, th oh, okay, I see. So our view right now, what we're looking at, is going to follow what I was looking at during the match, it seems. But that's, that's fine. So then down at the bottom, I've got 2 and 3, and that controls Flight Group 1 and Flight Group 3. And basically, number 2 here, these are my fighters. And then Group 3 are my torpedo bombers. And then... Uh, those tiny numbers are how many fighters and torpedo bombers I have left in the in the hangar. I would really love to zoom this in. There we go. Oh, then no, that's me zooming it in. All right, so we're just gonna st we're stuck with what I was looking at during this match here. That's fine. Uh, so the torpedo bombers fly at uh, an enemy ship. And once you click on it, they'll automatically set up for a torpedo run. Now, you can also hold down the Alt key and try to set up a run manually. And you get this little box, and they'll drop their torpedoes and shoot it towards the box. And so that lets you exercise more skill. Um, I would really like to have seen that. Oh, there they are. There's my torpedoes. They dropped. So I'm going to get one hit in. Just one hit on that battleship. He did what he's supposed to do and turned towards the... Man, spectating a carrier match is weird. I have to do it at least once. Uh, it sucks that I can't seem to... Oh, wait a minute. Am I controlling it now? How do you spectate carrier... There we go. I think I can pan the camera around now. Uh... So it's, it works just like the torpedoes on a destroyer, except they're, they are a lot weaker, but uh, they can fly, the, the planes can fly them anywhere on the map and drop them on anyone, so it's pretty still pretty powerful, I think. And uh, obviously I caused flooding, I got a little flood badge there. Uh, so I got, uh, I did hit that battleship pretty hard, even though the, the initial hit wasn't bad, I caused flooding. And that's basically a damage over time effect. Uh, just like fire. Uh, now, these are my fighters here. And can I zoom in? 
Eh, it's about as far as I can zoom in. So that's my fighter group there. And this reminds me of playing Supreme Commander or something. This like, was like zooming way, way out to see that strategic view. Uh, this gameplay is... I don't know if I'll do more carrier videos, because honestly this is kind of hoopty to watch. It's kind of weird to watch. Uh, but if you're... Playing a carrier, it's a lot of fun. It's it's pretty cool. The The gameplay itself is a lot of fun. Not that great to spectate, though. But whatever. Uh, so this is my fighter group fighting the enemy's uh, fighter groups. And it's kind of it's kind of hilarious. Can I hit shift? In the game, you can actually hit shift and zoom in a lot closer. And then the camera will actually follow right behind the plane. Uh, which is kind of cool. But in this view, it's just they're... Well, that's all you get to see in this view, and I can't, I can't hit shift to go into it. And that's poopy. That's poopy. Game, why you do this? Why you do this to me, game? All right. Well, my fighters won that fight, but it is kind of, kind of goofy. The, uh, the planes when they get in a dogfight will just face each other, and they just sit there, and the game is basically rolling dice for them. The planes stop in midair, face each other, and roll invisible dice at each other to see who wins. Uh, obviously, your plane stats play a big role in that. Uh, so there's my torpedo bombers. Now let's actually speed this up, I think. Because I, I, th I think at this point you guys have a basic understanding of what's going on here. There's guns, there's torpedoes, there's ships, and there's planes. Right? So, yeah. Uh because when you first start seeing a match over World of Warships, it can probably feel overwhelming with all this crap on the user interface. Uh, now, here's some strategy. What I'm doing here, you see my group of torpedo bombers is right here. That's a fighter wing. And this is a single fighter that was launched from a cruiser. Now, cruisers have good anti-aircraft, so basically I've aborted my attack run on the torpedo bombers, and I am flying them around these allied cruisers while they help me uh, shoot at these planes. Now I noticed that that battleship was close enough, so I let them go ahead and do their attack run. And those I think are my tor those are my torpedoes right there. And I think I get one hit. Boom. Yep. And I caused flooding again, which is great. Although he su succumbed to battle damage pretty quickly after that. So I get my torpedo bombers back over here, and basically just letting this cruiser help me shoot them down. Uh, my torpedo bombers do have rear gunners. Uh, they have a guy facing backwards behind the pilot who's got a machine gun. And, uh... So he can... They're not completely defenseless. They can... You know, I actually lost a, a fighter wing uh, to a group of bombers. Like, my fighters were chasing them and shooting at them, and they lost and all got killed. And I was like, what the hell, game? But apparently they were just... I mean, my fighters were the basic ones to start with, and the bombers, I assume, were all fully upgraded, so that's probably what happened. Now, I've been focusing on my fighters, actually, ever since then. I was like, that sucked. So I focused on the fighters first. So these are the, um, when you get the Langley and the Tech Tree, you got the first fighters that you can you start with, and then you can research some better ones. And I'm using the better ones now. And I've also taken a skill that gives them an upgrade that gives them, like, plus 10% combat effectiveness. I assume it's damage maybe. Uh, and then my bombers also have the uh, upgrade that lets their tail gunners be 10% more effective. So I'm trying to work on upgrading my planes. But playing a carrier is sort of like a pet class. Like here's... like my carrier is actually... that's me over there. Now my carrier... Uh, you can't see my waypoints that I've got queued up. Um... Oh, there it is! That's the view! That's the view. It's kind of jerking for some reason. It's not smooth like it was in the game, but whatever. But yeah, this is this is my fighter wing going after uh, these bombers here. And they're right behind them. I don't know why it's jerking around like that. Uh, but like I've said in a previous video, the, the replay engine is, uh, is obviously very early in development. Because to just to watch the replays, you have to do some special stuff to the game files just to be able to even see the replays. So Wargaming.net, the company that makes this, 
uh, they're obviously not really ready for replays to be a mainstream thing. So, uh, but I'm doing it anyway, and it's it's it is functional. There's obviously some glitches with it. Oh, here we go. This is a. Uh, I think I call these bombers off because I realize that this guy's basically dead, and there's no point. Yeah, yeah, I called them off. There's no point going after this dude. Now we've pretty much soundly won this. Here's my fighters going after this bomber wing. They get shot down. I think he's about to get killed. Shoot him down. Hurry up. The audience is waiting. Don't keep there. Yes, there you go. It looked like that cruiser got him, but I got the badge for it, so that was me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do uh, more carrier videos, because watching this is really, like, hoopty. Uh, but I would definitely, if you can play a carrier in World of Warships, it's if you're wondering if the gameplay is fun or not, is it worth the grind through the battleships? I, I say yes, and keep in mind, I hated the battleships. I couldn't wait to get out of them. Uh, I do okay with them. I just don't enjoy how abysmally slow they are. Uh, and they're, f they're really fodder to torpedoes. And if you haven't noticed yet, torpedoes are pretty common in this game. Now, this is the enemy's carrier right here, and he is... He, he is... He's highly dead. Oh, get him. You get him with them torpedoes. Fire torpedoes! They're going to drop, like, right here, I think. Yeah, there they go. And there's the spread of torpedoes going out. And let's see. Am I going to get him with one? He was trying to land his torpedo. Oh, he's going to get hit by two. Ugh, yeah. yeah, screw you, buddy. Suck it. And he's about to die here. Yeah, he's he's boned. All right, well, let's go take a look at the post game. <laughs> And there you guys have it. That was an excellent victory, I think, in my Lingley. Um, about damn time, too, because uh, my first few matches with the Lingley, I really didn't know too much what I was doing, and it didn't go so well. Uh, Carrier is definitely something that y you have to pay attention to the map all over the place. It's a very different experience than playing any other uh, ship in this game. And you have to know about everything. You have to know about battleships, cruisers, destroyers, torpedoes, gun ranges. Uh, it's definitely the probably the veteran ship to play. Like once you learn about the game, then you go play the aircraft carriers. And it's also very vulnerable to. I found this. Your teammates just leaving you. Uh, if a destroy if a destroyer slips by. You're pretty much toast. Uh, that happened to be one game. Uh, we were two uh, two destroyers charged right through the middle of the map after about five minutes into the match, and just nobody nobody stopped them. They just drove past our or sailed, I should say, past our team, and killed us. Uh, both both me and the other carrier, and I mean, we were kind of like guys. What the hell? But anyway, this match was great. Uh, I think 864 without premium time is pretty good. Uh, if, if I can keep having matches like that, I'll climb up the carrier tree uh, at a nice pace. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that, and I'll see y'all next time. Until then, as always, take it easy and fair seas.